right, hello everybody. So we are ready to scoot our way over to Patong Beach. It's about a 30 minute drive from um, Puget City where we are now. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. We've got some windies. We gotta go through the traffic and about midday traffic here, but we're off for a little bit of adventure across the island. We made it here in one piece, luckily. Right before you go down into Patong City, you go up this curvy mountain and then down a curvy mountain, and you're with all these other cars and other scooters. It was quite the experience. We are touched by the sun and on the moon. <laughs> All right, so we had a good time and busy Patong Beach. It's really busy, like really busy. We thought that other beaches were busy, but this beach was very busy. Busy. We just finished walking around Patong City area, I guess. It's just kind of like a tourist area with some shops. And now we've decided to stop by the beach and get some dinner at this restaurant here and watch the sunset. So we're sitting here after dinner. We already had a flower girl show up. It was pretty funny and I gave her 20 baht. We didn't buy any flowers, but just to keep her happy and go on, she was pretty hilarious. Wanted to do a thumb war. If she wins, we had to buy. If I win, she'd give it to us for free, but we passed on that. But then a sunglasses guy shows up. He wanted 650, said no. Wanted 500, said no. Went down to 300 and that's like 12 bucks and I didn't need a pair of sunglasses. So I was considering it and then Alicia said, 200 and he met us at 250 a piece. He did two for 500 instead. So Alicia needed a pair. I could use a pair still. So he gave us these Ray-Ban knockoffs, but he says they're no scratch. Maybe he had a rubber tip on his thing, but it sounded like it wasn't scratching. And they have a bunch of snap on video. <laughs> bend, durable. They're actually super high quality. I mean, what? We paid 250 a piece. So that's 10 bucks per pair of glasses and pretty good quality glasses so we got hustled hustled but i mean they look all right all right dinner's done sunset's done glasses hustle is done off to the bike and we got another 20 30 minute drive around the town so let's get home safe we are back at the condo here made it back safe and sound as always quite the adventure using that scooter through traffic here in phuket though did a little bit of I guess you call it lane splitting in between red lights. Everyone just swerves in between traffic, so gave that my first try and went down the middle lane and got home nice and quick. Exhausted from the heat and ready to call her a day, so we will catch you next time. Good morning, everybody. So sadly, today is our last day in Thailand. It's crazy how quickly those two months went by. It's like just yesterday we were up in Chiang Mai and now we're in Phuket ready to leave. So we still have to pack everything, get our suitcases ready to go for the airport. We leave tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning here. But today we're up bright and early. We're going to spend our last day in Thailand heading to some islands for some snorkeling and beach life, which will be pretty exciting. I think we're going to uh, Racha Island and Coral Island. It's part of a speedboat day trip, so nice and organized. No more planning on our parts, so that's always fun. So let's go see the islands. Oh, see it in my eyes. I see you shed inside your eyes. I see you shed. I see you shed. Our first stop was just off the coast of Racha Island where we snorkeled in the super clear water. We were unlucky and didn't see much for sea life, but we had a blast swimming around. Hey guys, so as you can clearly see, we're underwater here right now. We're out snorkeling at Rasa Island, so I'll catch you on the top side. Luke said goodbye to the ocean floor 
and then our boat took us around the corner to the Rasha Island Beach. Alright, so we just finished our lunch here with our day tour, and we're finishing it off with some fruit. Yeah, that's nice. This is a really cool little place. Crystal clear water, super warm. We're catching squids in front of us here. Yeah, they had the little fishing rod out and they're catching squid. Crazy. Back on the boat and we were off to our second stop, Coral Island. Despite its name, all of the coral in the area has been damaged by boats and tourists, sadly. So no snorkeling here. We are enjoying our last minutes here on Coral Island. This will be our last beach of Thailand. Yeah. And that was our last swim in Thailand. I can't believe it's already gone by so fast. It seems like we just got here. It does, but Bali to come, so there will be a whole new set of adventures and new cultures to take in for that. What did you think of Racha and Coral Island? Very nice. Beautiful clear water. Snorkeling was about the same everywhere else. We didn't see nothing too crazy. Yeah, snorkeling is about the same. All the general yellow fish you see, nothing too advanced. It was all pretty barren coral in reality, like you see everywhere else. But And it is busy, but I think any day trip you go on in Southern Thailand on any of the islands is going to be busy. Like, yeah. It's going to be probably pretty hard to find a day trip that's organized for you that's to an island that's not going to be busy. So. Yeah, you'll have to go somewhere a little more off the beaten path if you want to escape. But if you're taking a trip from Phuket, you got to expect the people. But all worked out well. Good speedboat, little tour. It's fun to rip around on the boat. And we'll be blasting back to mainland. So catch you back on the other side. bit sunburnt so I'll call that a success for the day. We're just heading out now quickly to the night market, the weekend market here in Phuket Town. Gonna grab some dinner from the food market there. They have like a huge food market set up there so I'm super excited about that and Luke's hopefully gonna find some more shirts and then we'll be coming back home to pack. Ugh. It's also our last ride on the Honda Click. I'm gonna miss these things. Alright, so we're in the market looking for it. some shirts for Luke. This place is like a maze. Like there's so many different aisles and like they crisscross. You get lost in here for sure. Luke was on a mission to find some more sleeveless shirts at the market. But more specifically, shirts with a thicker, sturdier collar. He can be very picky. They're all this type of thin collar. Every single one. New shirt acquired. And it's not even a Chang shirt. It's a miracle. Fake Under Armour. Eight bucks. We headed over to the food side of the market and bought a ton of food for our last night in Thailand. Last night in Thailand and we're feasting. So excited about this. We got a little bit of a lot of stuff. We got some salad rolls. These are delicious. We got some spring rolls. We got these chicken nugget looking things. They have like sauce on them. And then we got some pineapples that are all chopped up in there and some noodles. So we're about to feast on this and then pack, head to bed, and then we'll be in Bali tomorrow. All right, that's a wrap for our Phuket condo. Just gonna go downstairs and check out, and then call a grab, and we're off to the international airport. All right, so we've made it to the Phuket International Airport. We're just waiting for our flight to board now. And yeah, it's actually a really busy airport. It's a lot of people. 
in yeah. a small area. But we found this upstairs area that there's not many people and there's like a bunch of restaurants and like drugstores and stuff like that. It's very chill up here. And we're overlooking our gate from up here. So, it's a win-win situation. Welcome to my window seat. <laughs> Alright, we made it to Kuala Lumpur. We're halfway there to Bali. We got some lunch at Dunkin' Donuts and some coffee before we head on over to our next flight. And then we'll finally be in Bali. Mm -hmm. Join us next time when we arrive in Bali. We're in Bali, baby. We celebrate Bali's Day of Silence by being locked in our hotel room and eating PB&J sandwiches all day. And also celebrate Luke's birthday. Spa day birthday! This marks the end of our Thailand journeys. We're off to Bali now, and then road tripping over 20,000 kilometers across our home country, Canada. Also, a huge shout out to all of you amazing subscribers out there, and welcome to everyone who has newly joined our adventures. See you in Bali!